this is Kelly and today I'm doing the author ask book tag. I was tagged by Charlie Troff and you guys should all check out her channel. Um, she reads a wide variety of books and she does a lot of um, uh, books about parenting and gives reviews on them if you're a parent and are interested in um, nonfiction books like that. And the original tag was from Books with Nahid and it was based on a Tumblr post and so I'll put all those that information down in the description box. And the first question is JK Rowling, what is your Hogwarts house? And I never before this tag ever found out what my house was. I never took that quiz. And so I took three different quizzes. The first one was from Pottermore and that one actually said I was a Ravenclaw, but I didn't really feel like that was quite right. So I took two more tests and the other two both said I was a Hufflepuff. And since the hat kind of gives you a little bit of input into it, I decided that I am a Hufflepuff. Um, because even though I like to read and I was really good in school, I think the things that I actually value the most are friendship, friendship and loyalty. So that I think puts me more into Hufflepuff. Second is Stephen King, do you believe in ghosts? And I would say I don't believe in ghosts. Um, I don't think that our souls remain on earth after our bodies die. Next one is John Green, if you could visit any place, real or fictional, what would it be? And I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. I've been to Australia three different times, and even though they're close, New Zealand always seems like this uncharted territory to me because um, it just looks so beautiful in all the pictures. And I guess if you want to go with fictional as well, I could say the same thing because if you watch the Lord of the Rings movies, those were all filmed in New Zealand, so I could say I want to go to Middle Earth and it would look just like New Zealand. <laughs> so that's where I would go. The next one is Suzanne Collins, who is the one person you couldn't live without? And that would be my husband. <laughs> um, we've been together for a really long time and he is obviously my best friend and means the world to me and I just can't imagine life now without him. And that goes along with the next one which is Victor Hugo, do you believe in love at first sight? And I know I'm probably in the minority here but I do believe in love at first sight. My husband and I met, um, I guess it's been nine, let's see, 19 years ago. And the very first time that I saw him, even before I talked to him, I knew that we were meant to be in each other's lives. And we talked for the first time and it like instantly clicked. And I think we said, I love you by the third date. So I would definitely call that love at first sight. Like I knew immediately that we were going to be together. And the next one is Stephanie Meyer. If you could be a supernatural being, what would you be? And I had to think about this for a while, but I think that I would want to be a shapeshifter because I would want to be able to take different forms. Like I would like to be able to be like sneaky, like a panther or be able to like fly like a bird or something like that. So I would go with shapeshifter. And the next one is F. Scott Fitzgerald. If you had unlimited funds for a day, what would you do? And the way I approached this question is I decided that I was going to say, it says for a day so that all the money would have to be spent in that day so I couldn't put any into savings. So I'd first pay off my cars and my house and then I would uh, get like we'd have to start early in the morning and I would have all my friends get on private jets from all the places where they live and we would all meet together in Orlando and I would rent out Harry Potter World for the day and be able to just enjoy it alone with my group of friends because I'm always not a, I'm not a fan of going to like amusement parks and those kind of attractions when there's tons of people. I just really hate being surrounded by big crowds of people. Um, so I've never really wanted to go to Harry Potter World because of that. But if I could like afford to rent the whole place out, that would be completely awesome and be able to just enjoy it and like pay for everything for my friends. And the next one is William Shakespeare. Do you prefer tragedies or comedies? And really for me, I like both and it just depends on my mood. I'm a huge mood reader so sometimes I'm really in the mood for something funny and lighthearted and other times I want something that I can just like sit and sob to and it just depends on my mood. Next is Veronica Roth, what faction are you in? And I took the test and I am in abnegation which kind of makes sense because I'm kind of a no frills person. I don't know if you noticed I'm not really like a makeup wearer. I don't like to go shopping. Um, I don't own anything luxurious. So we're kind of very simple people. Um, and I also get a lot of satisfaction in being there for my friends and helping others. So I guess that makes sense that I would be in abnegation. 
The next question is David Levithan, if you could be someone else for a day, what would you, who would you be? And I mean, I take this as a, to be another person and I couldn't think of any person that I would want to be. But if I could be like anything else for a day, I would totally be a cat. <laughs> that sounds silly, but like, I feel like my days are so busy and I have so much to do. I would love to just be a cat where I could just lay in front of the, the like window in the sun and nap all day and be petted and just like, that would be the life. So I guess maybe I should be somebody with no responsibilities, but then I would still have to be another person and I don't know, I'm comfortable in my own body. <laughs> The next question and the last question is H.G. Wells, if you could travel to any point in time, where and when would you go? And for this one, it was, I was thinking about what I would really just like love to experience in the past. And I've always been a big fan of musicals and I really love like the older musicals from like the 50s and the 60s and around that time. And so like part of me just would really love to see some of the um, people that were really famous on Broadway at that time. And ones that I grew up listening to and just like really loved, um, like Barbara Streisand and Funny Girl or Carol Burnett and Once Upon a Mattress. But if I had to choose one time and place, I would pick New York, Broadway in 1956. And I would go see Julie Andrews play Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady. That was my favorite musical growing up. And I just, I always like wanted to play Eliza Doolittle someday, but I can't really sing, so that wasn't gonna happen, but I just love that that show and love that character. And obviously Julie Andrews is like the queen of singing, and so I would love to see her back then. So I would just go to that time and go see her in that show. And that's the end of the tag. So I'm, the t I'm gonna tag two people. The first is Lisa at Lisa's West Coast Reads. Um, you should, I'll put her channel down below and you should check her out because she's really sweet and she just she puts up tons of videos and I love her. And the other one is Dee at Book Bubbles and she's new and she doesn't have as many videos but I really enjoy them because she gives very specific, like very specific details about what she likes or doesn't like in a book. So it's not like a like, oh this was an average book, whatever. It is like very specific. So you should check her out and support her channel since she's just starting. All right, thanks guys, see you next time.